Let's go to the, the, the next item here, which is data enrichment, which I know that you love. Um, this is this is powerful. So we're, let's just talk about it in general. I think all these things go into it. I mean, let's let's maybe just talk about an enrichment in general. What are some of the big things that you guys have, have seen that companies are doing with this in, op, in Ops Hub, and especially the custom code? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. I think on, on like the data enhancement side, um, you know, there are a lot of like apps and service out, services out there that do data enhancement. But part of the part of the challenge is, is is like actually integrating those systems into your CRM in a way that can do things either on demand or in real time. Um, and so imagine you're using something like uh, like Clearbit to po like populate company information or Zoom info or something like that or even like something like Kickbox to do email verification to make sure that the, you know, the emails that you have are, are good ones so that you're not sending out either the wrong email to the wrong person or wasting emails on, on contacts that, uh, or emails that actually don't matter. You can actually go like use custom code to like go ping those systems, pull data in um, and do that either verification or enhance like the customer and uh, contact data so that you can send out like hyper personalized emails to customers in ways that are actually like delightful for them to to receive. Yeah. So one thing that I um, and I'm still my, my team knows better than I do. On and I was even looking at it because I'm a I'm not a dev guy, right? So web webhook. When I first heard this term um, is when I got involved with um, HubSpot about three years ago, and I heard about it one time before. And I said, cool, that's awesome. I, I get the premise of it. Basically, it's so that you don't have to do a back and forth. You can just quickly send information or pull information. I, my, my understanding is about sending information or pulling information. Can you give me a little bit of, um, for, for, for the viewers and for myself, where what is a webhook and how can we use it now in, in Ops Hub? And why is it more powerful than just doing API calls? Yeah, th th that's a great question. So I think, um, if you think about the difference between, or to, to kind of conceptualize the difference between our webhook action and our custom code action, custom code basically allows you to run an entire process within HubSpot so that you could, you know, maybe you're making API calls out to other services to pull data in, but you're running like the entire function within HubSpot. Where, web, where webhooks come in and are really powerful is like, let's imagine you actually want a system outside of HubSpot for whatever reason. Maybe it's you have a separate ERP system where you're like managing, you know, inventory or, you know, um, any sort of like, you know, um, like human resources process that, that touches your, your like CRM in some way. With webhooks, instead of trying to run the process in HubSpot, you could actually send, use the webhook to like basically like send a payload of data, which is basically the, the, the data from the, uh, from the workflow directly to that other system so that that system will receive the webhook and then grab that data that that was a part of the payload and be able to like process that data separately outside of outside of HubSpot. So the way that the way to think about those two things is like custom code actions is really about trying to run all of the process within HubSpot and bring data in and be able to like run it there. You could still use it to run processes outside of HubSpot if you want to like customize things a little bit more, but webhooks are really all about being able to do it really simply uh, and just send that data out outside of HubSpot so that you can run the process at, outside of HubSpot. And why that's a little bit, or why that's better and easier than APIs is with, an, with APIs today, you'd have to you know create the API service, pull HubSpot to uh, like listen for changes and, or, or subscribe to the like, you know, our, our, our webhook service to be able to like listen for updates, then you'd have to like process that when it came in and then uh, and then send off some response to whatever that that external service is. And what the webhook service basically allows you to, or the webhook action allows you to do is actually simplify that way down so you can remove that that step in that middleware, um, middleware layer. Yeah, that that's that's what I caught on is you can you can kind of get rid of uh, a step of of API calls that you'd have to do before and other calculations. So what I, what I think is really interesting is that we can take data enrichment and also use that as part of our, our lead routing. So you could actually, when a lead comes in, go pull a service, um, have a service update a number of data points for you, 
that then you push, you can move the workflow over to your, your next little operations workflow, which is then your lead routing, right? Once you've been able to enhance the data, pull the information, verify that the email is real. So before even the sales team gets it, right? This is like the number one complaint of a sales guy, right? They come in and they're like, dude, their email doesn't work. Did you, did you guys even look at what this company was? It's bogus, or this doesn't even really exist, or the, the number of employees here isn't even real. They, they said they have one to 10, but actually a 200 man company and Johnny down at, you know, lower BDR is working on it when it should be our executive, uh, you know, BDR working on it. And this is the type of stuff that you can almost so not completely eliminate, but start like getting rid of the minutia, getting, getting rid of the argument back and forth, right? Between teams of, hey, I'm getting bad data or this got routed to the wrong person because you guys didn't really look and see that this company's bigger than they are, right? And, and, and taking our tool, you know, if Johnny would have just taken five seconds to go look in Zoom info, he would have seen this. And now we can, you can almost eliminate some of that, right? And, and create this much, it's just a greater power for everybody overall, especially when you're dealing with larger teams. And I think that's part of this too, is that this allows, you know, from small teams to be able to get information to large teams, small teams can take it, make quick decisions, right? And automate a bunch of stuff that maybe they would need another person for and have HubSpot automate for them. And now you can have larger teams get more information so they can make faster actions and, and more powerful actions have the right person reaching out at the right time. Right. Am I, exactly. you see anything else with this that, you know, that we can do? Um, that's a, that's a good question. Um, nothing else off the top of my head right now, but that, right, well, that kind of covers like, all of it. I kind of, I got to, I kind of let into that one a little weird, but, but uh, I, I just, I get excited guys that this is so, this is the type of stuff I'm always trying to build for companies and it, and, it, and it costs a lot of money sometimes to build. And now you've got it in a system that we can, we just go do it, right? I can just go run my workflows and if I've got my other system, we can push out to it.